Hi students, welcome to my class. So in this uh, class, I'll be discussing important tips and techniques that you have to follow to solve a problem based on uh, integration and differential calculus. Uh, so to do this, I referred uh, question papers uh, right from 2014 to 2023 and I got to see some of the patterns. So those patterns, uh, based on those patterns, you know, I thought of making one video. Uh, so watch this video carefully till the end and note on all the important points. If you think uh, you know the video uh, is going to be useful, please uh, share, it to your, share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe. So let's get in. The uh, thing that you have to keep in mind is integration by special functions. You have already did it uh, uh, most of the times in your uh, board examinations. Uh, so these formulas so these formulas are very important right from uh, the first formula till the last formula uh, sometimes in the CET uh, in few years uh, they have asked uh, integration of special functions by giving uh, quadratic equations under root or without root they have asked us to find out uh, the answers next we have most ignored formulas so the reason why I am saying most ignored formulas because uh, uh, you know we tend to focus more on the formulas that we have got in the beginning but uh, these are the formulas that we don't focus uh, a lot. Uh, so for the CET this is the uh, most important formulas along with our uh, original formulas so, th so that's why so before the, the examinations you know if you could uh, uh, look into these formulas you know it will be it will be great so that's the reason you know i thought of discussing this so integration of tan x secant x integration of cosec x and integration of cot x so these four formulas are important so please just have a look next uh, we have uh, non-stop problems so you know you'll be wondering what is this non-stop problems so they are uh, integration of e power cos x e power x into cos x and integration of e power x into sin x so if you don't take i for the integral, so then you know there, there is no end for this. So it will be continue to use by parts for this, right? Uh, so it is a long process. So instead of doing that, I'll be giving you a general formula where you know you just have to use that formula to find the answer. So the formula is this is the formula. So now let's see. Uh, we'll take an, one example. So the example is um, integration of uh, e power 2x into sine 3x, sine 3x. Uh, dx now if you observe uh, with this formula uh, we get uh, a is equal to 2 and uh, b is equal to 3 right a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 now let's substitute in this formula so this formula says it is e power ax a value is uh, 2 so e power 2x divided by 2 square plus 3 square 2 square is uh, 4 plus 3 square is 9 so it is 13 right 9 plus 4 is 13 yeah so of uh, a sin bx a is uh, 2 sin 2 sin 3x uh, minus uh, b cos uh, bx so it is 3 cos 3 cos 3x plus c that's all is the answer so no need to go for any other steps so directly you get the answer instead of doing by parts and or two times by parts and getting the answer so this is the easiest method i feel uh, so please uh, note down this in your notebook and uh, if you can do this uh, please do it and uh, comment this answer in the comment section. So it is e power uh, uh, 3x and cos 4x, cos 4x dx. So just comment your answers in the comment section for this question. Yeah. Next we have substitution method. Uh, right from 2014 uh, till 2023 in every paper substitution method is there uh, there are there are so many things that comes under substitution method but uh, you know when i go through this uh, i got to know that the major important things that are that will come in the um, sub, you know substitution method is first one is uh, trigonometry next one is thirds and the next one is exponential so uh, it's around 60 to 70 percent of the problems are based on uh, trigonometry so 60 to 70 percent uh, so remaining around 10 percent so 10 to 15 percent is this and once again uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, is uh, exponential sums so there are so many sums that are there in the uh, textbook the uh, inserted textbook so please go through that so 
problems based on properties of definite integrals are very important and the most of the problems are based on three formulas the first one is this second one is this and the third one is this uh, most of the problems you know i would say around uh, 80 to 90 percent of the problems 80 to 90 percent of the problems are based on this property next one so integral of the type integration of uh, e power x of f of x plus f dash of x uh, in recent year you know they are asking question, more questions based on this uh, there are around 10 to 15 questions based on this the final uh, outcome uh, for this question is um, e power x of uh, f of x plus e so here yeah, this is the final end product for this so i want you to go through this concept also very well and uh, uh, even if you go through the previous year question questions you know you will get an idea how to solve it the paragraph that I have given so don't worry so this is uh, integration by bipart so focus on the second formula that I have given here so this formula says uh, integration of first function into second function so it is a product uh, product rule of integration uh, there are few problems very simple problems uh, uh, they have given uh, in the previous years so go through these uh, uh, bipart's questions also carefully concept is from differential equation there are two topics uh, that are repeating in this differential equation one is the uh, order and degree uh, please keep this in mind uh, they will not give easy sums based on order and degree so the sums based on uh, order and degree will be little higher order than the regular questions that you can see in the NCRT textbook so the questions are like uh, here the first one is this second one is uh, the degree of the differential equation so these are all just a few examples so I want you to go through uh, some of these uh, uh, questions carefully. I have already solved this kind of questions in my previous videos. Please refer those videos uh, for your uh, understanding. Next one, so linear differential equation. So this is the last part of uh, uh, differential equations. Here in this case, uh, there are two types of equations. So the one is a linear differential equation in Y and linear differential equation in X. Uh, here they majorly ask uh, integrating factor and the general solution. Uh, focus more on integrating factor because there are few questions uh, uh, they have asked uh, uh, integrating factor a lot so that's the reason focus more on integrating factor and also the general solution of a differential equation yes so, so that's all from my end children. so if you think uh, the video was useful please like share and uh, uh, comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and all the best for your examination